Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Hey, Shalom, Most High and Christ Bless. Hey, this is Officer Simakai with IUIC Chicago. We're about to go into this barbershop TNT, do a quick barbershop talk, show our history and our heritage, show why many of the problems going on in our communities. And hey, Lord's will, we have one to repent of the elect. Hey, Most High and Christ Bless. We'll be back later for a summary. Oh, how, how everybody doing, first and foremost? Y'all all right, man? right? Good, good. How you doing? Doing all right. Doing all right. So first, just to introduce myself, I'm Sim Makaya with Israel United in Christ. We're here in the Chicago branch. Uh, basically, just an overview of, of our organization. What we teach is the Bible from a historical perspective, also a spiritual standpoint. So basically, in a nutshell, what we teach is our nationality, God's laws, and repentance. So just to open up a little bit, um... What would you all say our nationality is? You say Israelites? Okay, what about you, sis? What's our nationality? Black. Black. Yes. What, did you, what about you, my bro? Uh, I say Israelite. Israelite? Yeah. What about you? Uh, Israelite. Israelite? Right. What about you, yeah. brother with the red hat? Huh? Sir? Yeah. Well, we're supposed to be from Africa. That's what they say. Okay. But I don't know if we really know because all of us, they make it from Africa to America. So okay. we might be Brazilian, we might be Spanish, we might be all, you know, we might be a whole lot of things all mixed up together. Okay. What about you, bro? With the do-rag? Oh, man. I, just, I think, <clears throat> man, to me, I think like black, black. I mean, we... Black? Okay. It's just, it's just a, I feel like we just we, we just in a better skin, man. So I feel like we just we got a good than anybody else. Cause our skin so is per it's per different than any, than any other skin out there. So I feel like we the we the rule. We the, we, we rule the earth. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. If it makes sense. You, I got you. I got you. What you say, sir? I'm not sure because I don't know. We we are mixed with a whole bunch of different things. Like for instance, my father from Belize and you know, my mother's from, you know here so it's like we all mixed up with different you know different uh nationalities and backgrounds so i mean i guess as a whole we'd be considered black but we still all mixed up with, with different you know what i'm saying with different i say ethnicity i don't know if i'm saying that word right we mixed right. up with different things you know okay okay know. what about uh what about you on tyrone what's our nationality was our nationality? Yeah. Our? Yeah, we the same people. That's why I'm saying our. Everybody got all type of mixed up, though. Yeah. I, I classify myself as American Indian, though. American Indian? American Indian. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only because my great, great, great grandmother told me that I was an Indian. That's okay. why. Okay. What about you, Tyrone? Oh. I'd say African American. African American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So everybody, we all in here. We look the same. I'll start with yeah, that. We look the same, but we got we got about six or seven different answers amongst all of us that just if you see us walking down the street, you would think we're the same people. So why would we have different why would we have different answers yet we all have very similar backgrounds? So get that in numbers eight, numbers one and eighteen real quick. So first I want to say, because some of y'all said that we, we mixed and we got a, a lot of different, um, we mixed with a lot of stuff over the years. So one, our nationality is determined by our fathers because who care, who, when, we, when we give birth, who, who sows the seed, so to say? Man. The man. So read that. Numbers chapter one, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together 
on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. So they declared their pedigrees. If you ever dealt with dogs, you, the pedigree is what? The bloodline. The bloodline. Read. After their families, by the house of their fathers. So the number one, the way we determine our nationality is by our father. Whatever, I, If our father is a so-called American black, then we would be an American black. But the part two of this, so we say, a couple of y'all said we Israel. A couple of y'all said we black. A couple said African American. Uh, my brother said American Indian. What'd you say? You forgot about what I said. What did you say? I said we were supposed to be African, but when when we when they took us out of Africa, the English, uh -huh. we we they stopped in all kind of places around the world, and a lot of them they dropped off in Brazil, they dropped in Spain, they dropped right. in Italy. I played sixteen years in Europe. Uh -huh. You got black Italians, you got black French. You got black Spanish, you got black Germans, you right. got black Russians, you got black Austrian. So it's hard to say, man. Our seed is all over the world in all different kind of countries. So we don't really know, ni you ni me, what we really are because we weren't back in those days when they did all that moving around. So, okay? so, so that's a that's an excellent answer. That's right. Well, what I'm with. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a highlight what you said, because what you said is a very heavy point, because we scattered. In other words, we scattered everywhere, so it's hard to say who we are, because we've been scattered all over the world, right? So how many of y'all are familiar with the Bible? You familiar with the Bible? You familiar with the Bible? How many of y'all would say y'all are Christian? A Baptist. Okay. Okay. So, but but in the in a in the in, in a whole, everybody pretty much you ra you was raised where you had the, a, some form of Bible, whether you was in it every day or every week, you had it. You had it there where you had some knowledge of it. So, get Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. How many how many y'all know who wrote the book of Deuteronomy? Stop it, Since you said that, uh huh. I want you to explain. The difference between a Christian and a Baptist. What is the difference? There's no difference. They both Christian. Okay. They both Christians. It's just different sex. <clears throat> it's just different sex of that religion. Different religions, right? But right. under all, we are all Christian. Now, that's partially true. Partially? Yeah, because when you look at Christianity as it is today, we're not Christian. We, 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 we attach ourselves to it, but we're not Christian because the Christianity of today, what do you, what is, when you open up, when you open up the Bibles of the day, what do you see? When you had, if you have, I don't know if y'all ever seen them big, real big Bibles and you got to get all the images in it and you open it up, who's in them Bibles? And what do he look like? What do you look like? He's a white man. So if if we're Christians and we open up a book, but every image that's in that book is a white man, how are we Christians? But let me let me let me let me give you something else. If you know Jesus was not an Israelite. No. You said Jesus was not an Israelite? No, Jesus was a Muslim. He's a Hebrew. Yeah. Yeah. You said he was yeah, an Ishmaelite? All, all of color skin. White. He wasn't white. So how, where is the proof that he's an Ishmaelite? Because if you remember, when he was with, when Mary had him, and he was in that cave, remember that, that so-called cave, they say? I don't even believe that, man. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you something, man. These people... These people make up all of this false stuff and they make Christianity, they make Baptist, they make Catholic. Everything is made up, man, a lot of this stuff. We don't really, really know our real history, really. We don't. Okay. Because we the only race, we the only race, and listen to this, we the only race. When my grandmother came up, she uh, was a Negro. Right. When I came up, we were colored. 
Right. Then we became black. Then we became African American. Right. Now we now we non denominated. How in the hell can our race be I'm all show those you. damn things? So I'm gonna show you real one quick. Person? I'm gonna, so I'm you, gonna, got to I'm tell, gonna, you got to tell me that, man. I'm gonna go yeah, off that point. Like that. I'm gonna go off tell that point. I like you. I like you. You bringing it out. You bringing it out. Let's read that. Deuteronomy chapter. No, nah, read Jeremiah first. Because what you said, we don't know who we. Basically, we don't know who we are. Because it's so much stuff that's been fed to us that we we don't know where to go. Read the book of Jeremiah, chapter seventeen, verse four. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. So, what does it mean to discontinue? You ever been in a store and they they have stuff and they put it on, they discontinue. That what that mean? They stop selling it. Or it stopped, it stopped being in production. So the Bible, what we just read, read it again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. So, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. So we just, it says that thou shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Who on this earth don't have a heritage? Because what is a heritage? It's a culture that you can actually trace back and say, this is my culture. Well, I mean, we don't have a heritage. What's our heritage? I've been here 71 years. Uh-huh. Now, I know that it's so crazy how this world is now, man. Who was the real Republicans, man, back in the 1700s? You. you don't know? You know you That's know not. who started the Republican Party? Who? We were. Okay. We were the Republicans. Mm -hmm. So now, man, we in this 2020, 21st century. Mm -hmm. Now they didn't reverse all that shit, man. Uh -huh. Now we the Democrats and they were Republicans. Okay. But if you know in your history, your history in, in 1668, we started the Republican Party. That was men who owned their own farms. Who were slaves? They all got together and started this party called Republicans. Mm -hmm. So you know about it, the history of the Bible. You had where the kingdom of Israel was split into two kingdoms: the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. When them, when the kingdoms were split, the northern kingdom immediately went off into idolatry, and because they went off into the idolatry, they was taken captive by the Assyrians. That's what this is talking about. They was they was given freedom. Read. Whom Solomon Ar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. Uh -huh. And he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. Uh -huh. But they took this counsel among themselves. So when they took this counsel among themselves, they was given liberty and it was able to return to their land, which was the land of Israel. But read, this was they did. Read. That they would leave the multitude of the heathen. Said they would leave the multitude of the heathen. So instead of being in the mix over there, they said they're going to leave them. Read, and where was they going to go? And go forth <clears throat> into a further country where never mankind dwelt. So it says they was going to go forth into a further country which never mankind dwelt. So at one point in time, the Americas was not inhabited. But it wasn't when, Colum when Columbus said he came over here. Read. That they might there keep their statues, but they never kept in their own land. So they made a pact. You know what? We're going to go to a further land away from the heathen to a land where we can keep the commandments. Read. And they entered into the Euphrates by a narrow passage of the river. So when you look at the when you look at the map, they say they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. That's at the northeast, the northeast corner of Africa. Because at one point, Israel was a part of Africa until they created the Suez Canal to split it. So there was no Middle East. Read. For the most high then showed signs for them. And held them, held still the flood. So the Most High showed signs for them, meaning he used the, the stars, the sun, the moon to guide them over to this side of the earth. Read. Till they were passed over. Uh huh. For them, that country, there was a great way to go. Uh huh. Namely, of a year and a half. So this is how the so called Native Americans got over here to this land. When they, they came over here, they dropped off in South America, Central America, and the Americas. That's how they got over here. Read. And the same region is called Azareth. And when and the, the, the old name for the Americas was Azareth. 
So that's how they came over here. So the, the natives, the natives, as we know them, as they call them today, were the Israelites. But when they came over here, they they were in idolatry. They still continued in their idolatry. So what we seen, what happened with Columbus, Hernan Cortez, uh, what's some of the other names? With all of the conquistadors that came over here and took over this land, that's called colonialism. Get to go back to Deuteronomy 28. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 28 and like 18. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 18. Curse shall thou so the be, curse shall be the fruit of thy body uh -huh. and the fruit of thy land and the, and the increase of thy kind and the flocks of thy sheep. So it says, curse shall be the fruit of thy body, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. What happened when the conquistadors came over here? What did they do? Usually when they come to the country, they conquer Yeah, in the process of them conquering it, what did they do? They call their culture. Right, and that, that's why. Like in Louisiana down south, that's why most of them speak French, and their names are French. Right, they colonized by the French yeah. down south of Louisiana. Right. So yeah, and they strip, they strip and their they, culture away and from and them. You take upon what they take. That means their right. religion, their, their thought. And their, what uh, and, and what was their religion? Because when you look at the so-called Mexicans, the so-called Puerto Ricans. What religion do most of them follow under? Catholicism, yep. And that's what the, the Spaniards came, all of them that came over here, that's what they was pushing. When you look, it's, uh, it's many images where they had, where they had uh, the kings hung, hung up, they was burning them, and they had their cross, basically convert or die. But all of that, we see it in history, we reading it out of the Bible. So that lets us know that those things happen because the Israelites broke God's commandments. Uh, read on. Verse 19. Curse shall, the, curse shall be, excuse me, curse shall thou be when thou cometh in, and curse shall thou be when thou goest out. We born into a curse. We, when we come into this earth, we cursed. We born into slavery. Even today, we think we free. But we can't do what we want. You can, you can, you can, you can have a house. You can have a house that's paid off. But if you don't pay them taxes, what's going to happen to that house? Yeah. Or you can have a house, be paying the taxes, paying your mortgage, and they can. You know what? We need this land. We need this land. We want to build an airport. What you got to do? Can you stop them? So basically, what you're saying is, we 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 basically here just to rent. We just rent here right land. now. Right because now, we right now because the thing is, we don't we get on nothing, really. We, man. we turned our back on our God because when we were created, this world was created. Get that in Second Ezra. This world was created for our sake, for us to rule over the earth. But because we turned our back on God, we stopped keeping His commandments. We start. We we was worried about what the other nations was doing. He took it away from us, and now. Just like, just like in the when you look in the in the, in the book of Genesis, how Adam had the um, the curse that was put on Adam was he had to uh, what's the word um, he worked by the sweat of his brow. It's the same thing. You, you just like a father. How many of y'all are fathers? You give your son instructions and he say, ah, whatever, Dad, I ain't doing that. What's happening? You gonna let him be? You can say, oh, are you okay? You ain't no, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Is that what's gonna happen? You're gonna discipline them. So that's the same way we that God deals with us as a nation. Because uh what I got you on? Read that real quick. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord over all thy creatures, uh huh. Of him come we all. So of Adam come we all, all nations come of Adam. But read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. But now he makes a distinction. He said, all people come from Adam. But he said, also the people who thou, who, whom thou hast chosen. Read. All of this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. The world was made for the sake of the Israelites. We supposed to be ruling. The Israelites is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We supposed to be ruling. Setting the, the, the law and the order over the earth. 
But because we turned our back on God, we stopped keeping his commandments. He took it from us. And now we have to serve our enemies that he put over us. Go back to um, Deuteronomy 28. There was another point I was going to bring. I forget. It'll come back. Deuteronomy 28. And let's read 46. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Start at 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. So this is a repeat of what we read in 15. He says, moreover, all these curses are going to come upon you. Read. And overtake thee. And overtake thee. When, some, when you get overtaken by something, what, is that? what does that mean? Oh. Control. Consume. Yeah. Compromise. It's America, man. It's, this is America. Exactly. This, you, this you country can overtake made for us uh, to be here. Power. It's America with three <laughs> Read. And it's not just the, I mean, America is the, the main superpower, but even in Europe, because at one point, like you said, you said it earlier, there was black Italians, black Germans, black but they, we used to rule over there. Right. But now we're not ruling no more. Right. And the reason we're not ruling is because we broke God's commandments. Read. Till thou be destroyed. Uh-huh. Because thou hearkenest not. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we're destroyed today. That's us. We look at the streets of Chicago. We'll just deal with Chicago. What's going on in the streets of Chicago? Everything, man. Everything. Everything killing, like what? Robbing. Robbing. Stealing. Stealing. Carjacking. And who and who and who is it who is it being done against? Well. Who's doing it and who are they doing it to? Well, I say it like that. We we ourselves somewhat. Huh? Because every because Chicago always have a plan. This plan one is us. Now plan two is these immigrants that's come here to try to take over us. And but plan the, three, where are the immigrants that's come, where are the immigrants from? The immigrants are from South America, Venezuela. So, so the immigrants that's from South America and Venezuela, how did they get there? They got there because they were they were the Spanish brought them over to them. When Spain when Spain and they was already there. They, they were there. They got the land, they got their land taken they, from like, them. But when, when Spain and, <clears throat> and a lot of those Spanish speaking countries, uh huh, they was just like like when they brought us from, from, from Africa, they did the same thing. Santa the, the Dominicans, the Spanish brought them there. No, nah, they didn't bring them there. Well, so Some the Dominic, like the Dominicans, the Venezuelans, the Puerto Ricans, Ricans, they was already here. So the conquistadors came over here and took took their land. Basically, they took over their land, okay. and then just like they brought us here from Africa, they, they sent, sent them, them to Spain, Spain and, and Italy and and, 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 uh, okay. Okay. and yeah. Britain on right. slave ships over there. Right. But they kept some of them here, and they took their land. That's what we were saying earlier: right. colonialism. Okay, they That's came right. over here and took over the land. Right. So. Now we look at it as they bringing the immigrants over here, and we looking at them like they are enemies when we the same people. That's what, that's, that's what we are. We actually the same people. That's where we at now here. That's why they going through what they going that's through. That's where we at here now, child. Yeah, we here too, bro. You better wake up. Uh, read, read on. Read. Because thou hearken is not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So all these things happening. And repeating it again because we hearken not to the voice of the Lord God. Read. To keep his commandments and his statutes which I command thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. Now it says they, the curses, are going to be upon the Israelites for what? A sign. For a sign. What is a sign? What's the purpose of a sign? Tell you directions. Tell you where you are. Where you are. It's an identifying marker. So if these curses, these curses are going to be upon the Israelites for a sign. So what does that mean? That means any na the nation of people that you see these things happening to, them people are the Israelites. So uh, read on. And for a wonder. Uh-huh. And for a wonder, meaning that it's an astonishment. It's a, uh, what's another word? Uh, it's an astonishment, a wonder, when, when people, amazement. When people, when, you, when people look at us, even when we look at ourselves, how we treat each other, it's, a, it's a, an astonishment. 
How can I how can I comfortably come to you? We look just alike, but I, I don't have I don't think twice about pulling out a gun and blowing your heads out, your brains out. But I'm saying that's an astonishment. That's an astonishment. We just said you just trying to put me on game. You ain't trying to catch the game or not. I'm just saying you trying to get right. me game, but I gotta catch on to what you're saying. That's all. all right, man. You too. You got a flyer. Uh, you got a flyer. So that's an astonishment. That's a wonder. Even we looking at it, like. Why, like my older brothers, y'all, y'all was around. We actually stuck together. We actually did things together. Now you look, even even a lot of the gangs now. You got you had you had, <clears throat> and we don't advocate gangs anyway. But you have brothers that's under the same gang, but they fighting against each other. How is that possible? Because America is a big <clears throat> game, man. Yeah, they 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 worked in us and divided us. Right. This whole country is a big. We got the Willie Lynch man. letter. This whole thing is. Don't you see on TV, man? All they all big games. Trump yeah. is a game. Biden is a game. They all games. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. all. Exactly. Is but <clears throat> this is what we used to see in, here in America, which we don't see that when you go abroad, man. It's totally different. You go in the Muslim world, man. That's because we in the belly of the beast. Yeah. America is the belly of the beast. Okay. Okay. Because so it's, over, it's the worst of the worst here. You go over, over there to uh, the Middle East and Lebanon and all them places, man. They totally different from here, man. Uh-huh. The, 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 the socialization over there is much different from here, man. <clears throat> and everybody got their own little game, man. So whoever's the strongest, that's who wins, man. Here and the America. thing about it, now that's a heavy point. Who the strongest? Right now? No. Nah. Who who's actually the strongest? Not in, in military in power. World? Who actually the strongest? In the whole world? Yeah. It's here. Huh? It's here. You said it's here? America. Who what is? what nation on the earth is the strongest? Black. The who said black that? You said that? Black. We the strongest people on the earth. Because just, just think about it. The things that we've been through. The things that we've been through. You think that any other nation would have been would still been here? Imagine you put a, a so-called white man through the things that we had to go through. He would have offed himself. Well, you know, the, the, the white man, he's always been scared of us. For three reasons. The first one, they're weak. Give me that perpetual hatred. Very weak. If things don't go their way, they'll jump out the window and kill themselves. And that's what I just they'll break the down like 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 uh I hate to say it, this woman is they break down like women. They don't have no guts, man, and no go. When With a black go, man they go crazy. So and that's the thing. So that's that's the thing. So when we say who the strongest, we've been we've been going through the struggle for years upon years upon years, and we still here fighting. Because with a black man, a black man and a and a Indian man are somewhat alike. They the are survivors, man. They can live in the forest. They can live off the forest. They can live off the uh, the vegetables and stuff. You put a white man in, in the forest, man, the first thing you're going to do, if he can't get it done, he's going to kill himself. So you said, because uh, you said the, the white man, they scared of us. The white and man, they hate us. The white man, his main objective here in America is to keep us down, man. And you, you, do you know why that is? Because he's scared because we are conquerors. We are the real kings. They go deeper than that. Even more than that. We are the real people. Who can survive, Actually, man? Hold that, but give me Genesis 25. Because it goes deep. It goes back way farther than right. just that. Because the so-called white man and us, this world evolve around the beef, so to say, that's between us. Because the so-called white man is our elder brother. We're going to read it real quick. Read that. Look at Genesis. Because I'm going to show you. Chapter 25, verse 21. Uh huh. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. Uh huh. Because she was barren, and the Lord entreated of him. So, how many y'all y'all familiar with Isaac, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob? 
Right. So we're reading about Isaac. Right. So Isaac. So now we're reading about Isaac. Read. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. So Isaac, wife was Rebecca. She got pregnant. Read. And the children struggled together within her. So it said the children that was within her struggled. She had twins. Read. And she said, if it be so. She said, so she said, if it be so. If it's a blessing for me to give birth to children, why am I going through so much pain? Why am I going through this? Why they, why did, why did, why it seem like the children fighting in my, in my womb? Read. Why am I thus? Uh huh. And she went to inquire of the Lord. Read. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. So she, she said, so the, she went and asked the Lord what was going on, and he told her. He said, It's two nations in your womb. Two nations. That were less, that's one of the indicating factors. Let us know that it wasn't um, identical twins. It was fraternal twins. I mean, it was born, it was two separate seeds. Read. And two manner of people. And two manner of people. Even when you look today, we have a totally different mannerism than the so called white men. Read on. Shall be separated from thy body. Uh huh. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And it says, the one people shall be stronger than the other people. We already established who is the stronger of those two people. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. And it says, and the elder is going to serve the younger. Let's see who the elder is. Read. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled. So when her nine, ten months was fulfilled and it was time to give birth. Read. Behold, there were twins in her womb. Uh-huh. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So it says, the first one came out red. Who red on this earth? What they called? No. Oh. Caucasian. What they call them in the South? Rednecks. Why? When they get angry, when they get mad, when that sun hit them, you see the blood through their skin. They need to be virtually called them colorful. Nah. No, but, it, but, the, but, the, but, the, but listen, but listen to what we, but listen, listen to what we, listen to what we re-highlight and read it again. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So it said the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Let's see the description of the second. Read. And they called his name Esau. Uh huh. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. Uh huh. And Jacob was three score years old when she bare them. And who? When she bare them. Read it again. You said Jacob. I'm sorry. And and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bare them. So did they give a description of the second child, or how he looked? Why is that? Blood. How do we know that? Because they always, that's just like television, man. When you see a, a white kid kill somebody, do they ever put their picture up there? Nope. But you let a black kid do something. Yeah, his name on all there. out there, his face on there. His everything. face on there, they talk to his mother, they at the school, they at his house, they everywhere, man. We just but, like a promotion picture, man, when we do but, 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 but look at this, though. But we read out of the Bible. We read out of the Bible. They said the first came out red. Why didn't? It, why was it not necessary to describe how the second came out? Because it ain't really that important to them, man. No, nah, it's important. It's important for us today. Because today, when we read, a lot of us when we read the Bible, we don't see ourselves in the Bible. The vast majority of us when we read the Bible, we think we're reading about somebody else. Get Genesis two and seven real quick. When it's really mainly about us. It, it's all it's all about us. Right. This is our book. This is our history book because mm -hmm. it details it details it details our history to the T. Mm -hmm. When you read the Bible, you're reading about your forefathers. You're reading about yourself. Read that real quick. Book of Genesis chapter two, verse seven. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So in the beginning, God formed man from the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Black. Black. So that's why it wasn't necessary to describe Jacob. Because he came out looking like everybody else. But Esau came out red. So he was different. So they had to, it had to be distinguished. But read on. Go back to uh, Genesis 25. But the Genesis chapter 25, verse 26. And at mm. well, 25. 
Uh, read 26. Verse 26. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. Now jump up to the... Yeah, let's read that. So when we jump to verse 27, it was our custom to bless our, the oldest son. The promise was to Jacob. So Jacob got the blessing. So read on. So after Jacob got the blessing, Esau comes back. Read. The book of Genesis, chapter 27. Verse 38, and Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. Mm -hmm. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Read. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be in the fatness of the earth. So the blessing that he gave Esau, he said, Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Where is the so-called white man today? Where is the so-called white man today? On the earth. Like what what where what what nations is he ruling? White man? Yes. He's ruling all of them. He's ruling all of them. So this is blessing. Read. And the dew of heaven from above. Read it again from the top. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold. Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. They said, Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Read. And of the dew of heaven from above. And of the dew of the heaven from above. What did, what did, where does the dew fall? Uh, Everywhere. Yeah. No matter where you at on this earth, the dew. But the thing is, how did he get all of that? How did he get all of that? Anybody? How you get it all? You said what? He stole it. And how did he steal it? Let's read. Read. And by the sword, thou excuse me. And by thy sword shalt thou live. And he says, By thy sword shalt thou live. America is a superpower. Russia is a superpower. Europe a superpower. Iran. Iran. But those, those are we, we most supposed specifically Esau. Esau is a superpower. Them nations, that's why ain't nobody, that's why America speaks how they speak. They speak like they untouchable. And this is because that's the blessing that they were given, that they would have that power. And they 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 went and stole each every land that they own, they stole it. I think one of y'all alluded to it earlier. They don't they don't have no, everything they have, they stole. That's true. Read on. Verse 41. No, I'm sorry. And by thy sword shall thou uh, you live. Can jump to, you can jump to 41. Yes, sir. Verse 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. So he said Esau hated Jacob for the blessing that he blessed him with. So this is where that, that hatred, that's why it's always them against us. They shoot us down on the streets. They, they, they done set up all this stuff Throughout us be being in slavery, we hate each other because that's how they bred us in slavery. They set the old against the young. The the you you, you pulled it up, the Willie Lynch. <clears throat> yeah, they, they set us against each other. So today, what we see in the streets of Chicago, the streets of Detroit, it's just it's what they did to us in slavery. And even when, and every time we tried to band together, what happened? Every time, any time that we tried to pull our resources together and actually gather together to build. We always were successful when we did it. But what happened? They always put the middleman to divide us. They always put somebody in there and destroyed it. And use it to who he is, is us. He said, yeah, they use somebody from us. It happened That's to uh, Fred it Hampton. It happens all that way, man. Every, everything that we ever established, and that's a, that goes to another question. Why? Why? Why is it every time that we band together and then we you had Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma, you had Black Wall Street in a lot of places. But every time we had something, what happened? It got destroyed. And it's, it goes deeper than fear. Because um what am I? Doing? It goes deeper than them being scared of us. Because read that, go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Read that real quick. The resources as far as like 
it goes deeper than revenue and the money. It all it'll all be ours. We have we'll be able to generate our own money. Opposed but it, it to goes, it out. That's true. And but it goes deeper than that too. They getting the compensation from what we are earnings. Yeah, and they collect it all instead of us replenishing it back within ourselves and in our own community. Right. So it, it that's true, but it goes deeper than that. The biggest point is the problem ain't them. The problem is us. You hit it right on the head. That's we the that's the, the problem. biggest problem. Ourselves. That's the big that's the problem. When I grew up in the 50s and the 60s, we were better than this, man. But even even then, there was something wrong. There was something wrong. There was something but missing. Now, the problem was us even then. But now, man, it's the worse. The problem is us, man. The it ain't about using the white man, the so, Mexican, the Puerto Rican. It's about us, man. So the Mexican and the Puerto Rican, we all the same people. We all the same people, but still and all, we're still divided. Right. The issue was us then, and the issue is us now. now. So the, the, the question that we want to ask is, what is the issue? Because when we get together, it's been shown over time. When we get together, we thrive, but it never lasts. It always end up falling, crumbling. What's missing? What's the missing ingredient? This is one of the missing ingredients is, and we talk about it, but we're weak too, man. Get Deuteronomy 1 and 1. What we makes have, us we have We have so our what makes weak us weak? leaks too, man. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. makes yeah. us weak? But the, it's that culture. It's that culture and that and them core belief systems and what type of man you developed into. So what For us the, with having that, 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 that racism it's not really racism. That's one that loves his own race. Mm -hmm. So once I love my brother, I'm going to take care of my brother. That's so, uh, and I'm not going to let nobody in between that. But that core belief system has to be built. <laughs> and, and us as fathers, we got to put that in our kids. Exactly. And we got that core family. All right, when we get ready to raise our family, we got to be men and say, what is our core beliefs? What, what, how we gonna, what's going to be the core? How are we going to raise our kids? So we I got a question for you. And how to have <clears> character. Mm -hmm. Have good core, a, a solid core belief system that you can build a rock on, and we can build from that. But when we get into the mo mode of not having core belief systems, then next thing you know, we fall for that love of money. We so fall for that greed. Give me that. And next thing you know, because my business is no, doing good, uh, I'm trying to get all I can. And next thing you know, I don't care who I got to step on right. to try to get it. If my man got a piece of shop down the street and I got a piece of shop, I'm going to be competitive instead of helping him. And we both grow. I'm going to be like, no, I got to shut him down because I'm going to get all the piece of sales in the neighborhood. Right. So it's those core belief systems and building so that type of real, man I mean, that, that we are, so real have, have become. What, what do those core beliefs need to be founded on? Because if you got core beliefs and your core beliefs are, um, let me see. Let me see. Let's say your core. Let's say your core beliefs are the Quran, but my core beliefs are the Bible. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna be able to walk in the same path? Yeah. No. Nah. No. Because it's two because, different religions. Because Quran teaches a different kind of ment mentality. The Muslim mentality is different from the regular mentality of that Bible, man. So that's where. That's where we gotta. When, when we as we when we gather together, because we already see when we gather together, we powerful. But when we gather together, it always crumble. So we got to understand, like, OK, why is it every time we gather together? It don't never go nowhere. Right. So well, you know, what is it that we missing? First with the Quran or the Bible, but on the tour, it's, it's the spirit of a man. You know what I mean? I, I look at it like that. I look at it. I look at it as. What you made of, you know, it's not by, it's not by the letter, the letter kill it, but the spirit of God bring it forth life. And what's the spirit of God? But the spirit of God got a, the spirit of God, we all got the spirit of God but, within but, us. But what but is that we, spirit? How, how we, hmm? But what is that spirit? What is that spirit? I don't know. You tell me. John 6 and 63. Because this is. So it's, but what is it though? Because what's, because the thing about it is. We got to, we all got spirits in our body. Like, like first with, 
Say, say the spit up. Just now, I'm gonna read it. Now before, go, before you go on, because okay, you said, yeah, you said show you. Yeah, I want to yeah. read it. Because yeah, we, we got spirits, but then there's a spirit in this Bible. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's deeper than words on the page. And I'm pretty sure we all understand that. But it's the words on the page that ignite our spirit. Read that. The book of St. John, chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Uh-huh. So it's the spirit that quickeneth, meaning this Bible. Read. The flesh nothing. This our flesh ain't worth nothing. Our thoughts, nothing. It's garbage. Anything we can think of and we think we deep, we think we got all the understanding, it's nothing. It's trash when it's compared to this Bible. Read. The words that I speak unto you. So now this is Christ speaking. He said, the words that I speak unto you, mm -hmm. read. They are spirit. Well, one, one thing that Christ did say, he said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Holy Spirit? Nah. You know, no, what is the spirit listen, that Christ has spoken? Listen, he said the word, Christ said the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. All right, and what are the words that he was speaking to the people? What was well, he teaching? He was speaking. He was saying. From the Bible. Right. He was. From what? From the Bible. Well, where? He was speaking from the Bible. He was speaking from the Bible. The commandments. Because, the commandments. Because okay. think about it. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Right. Ephesians. Were those in the Bible? Do we have that when he was walking the earth? No. So what was he teaching? Old Testament. He was teaching the laws. The laws. He was teaching the laws of God. What if we taught thou shalt not steal? That'll, that'll get rid of the murder rate too. And the crime rate. Because then, that is, what about uh, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's things? Right. If a brother got rims, you're not going to, I'm, I'm going to take that from him. And then now both of y'all end up dead because you go to rob him, he defending himself, he gonna shoot you, you shoot him, y'all both dead. I kind of beg the difference. Because this is just we, an example. Well, I'm, I, but we came up with the big mamas in the house. We came up with, um, you know, you you should be don't be out there stealing nothing. So don't me, be out there doing it. You know the the but my big mama them they talk to take them in. So now with that and they brought that belt out now, too. You said take them in. No more than no, that. No, so what happened? If they was teaching us the commandments, what happened? Everybody stop abiding by. Was the ones the, was the ones that was teaching us the commandments? Were they keeping the commandments? No. no. The times got worse because of the lack of discipline. You know the what? discipline is left. But I, the thing about it is, even like I'm, I'm still I, I consider myself young. I'm only thirty nine. Oh, but everybody in this room, whether you your older brothers, you 70, 60, you had a grandma. Or like you said, Big Ma. But the thing about it, I'm gonna, I want to highlight that too. I want to go past that. What's the problem with having a Big Ma? That she's a woman? You have discipline and structure in your family. Now she's a woman? Say it again. You have discipline and structure in your family. But, so we look for the we look to the woman for discipline and structure? No. So what? that's what my, my question is. What's the problem? Too. No. Yeah. But just... A father? I, I don't really... Like, most families... Most families had Big Ma. Yeah, I, I don't I don't remember hearing Big Pa a lot. And, and that's I what had, I hit on yeah, both sides. That's good. I, I, but I, I, most majority I, I, of our families. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm good. My mother's side. Mm -hmm. My mother's granddaddy on my father's side. But think but think about it, I'm the thing I'm highlighting. In most families, we had Big Ma, which yeah. was grandma that everybody went to for guidance and yeah. instruction. Yeah. And what's the problem with that? Grandpa was at work, and she was sitting at home. But the men always, the, the men always been commissioned to work. Yeah. So the problem with the with Big Ma, and I, and I ain't shunning having a, a grandma that, that's able to guide you, but who she's supposed to be guiding you under the direction of? Uh, of the man. Of the man. So and when when if you go if, if if our family structure is based on going to Big Ma for guidance. That's that's falter. Yeah. Because if I'm a, I'm a man and I'm going to my grandma for guidance, she can't show me how to be a man. That's that's and that, that's that's, that's why a lot of the that's that's one of the support right there. As, as so read that. Uh, what I got y'all? Wow, but but let's let's rewind. Let's rewind. I don't want to go too far off. I want to go back to the point right. of the words that Christ spoke to. Us, what was he speaking to the people? Let's read that real quick. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 21. 
Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time. So Christ said, ye have heard by them. What's the read again? Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time. What is he referring to? He said, ye have heard that it have been said of them of old time. Of who? The ancestors. And then what will we find that at? Where we find those words? <laughs> yeah. Um, in the Torah or the yeah. Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Read. Let's see what he's saying. Read. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill. What we find thou shalt not kill? The Ten Commandments. In the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Read. And whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. And when you kill, when you intent, when you malice, when you um plotted to kill somebody, you was in danger of judgment, meaning you're gonna be put to death. Read. But I say unto you. But he said, but Christ, Christ, he said, but I say unto you, this is him, this is him magnifying the law. Read. That whosoever is angry with his brother. He says, whosoever is angry with his brother. Read. Without a cause. Without a cause. What's one of the, what's one of the major reasons of the, a killing that goes on in the street? A misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Angry with your brother without a cause. Read. Shall be in danger of the judgment. Shall be in danger of the judgment. So Christ, he didn't come and do away with the laws. He came, if anything, he came and made them harder because he dealt with the root of the problem. If you, if, if, if I, if I conjure up the energy, energy in me to come and shoot you down cold, that means I got hatred towards you. For whatever reason, Christ dealt with the root of the problem. And so he taught us the laws. Verse 27. So this is something else Christ taught was teaching the people. This is the word that he was speaking to the people. Read. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time. So here we go again. He said, ye have heard that it was said by them of old time. Read. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Read. But I say unto you, uh -huh. that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. Everybody in the room be put to death. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because a woman, a woman walk past, if a, I guarantee you, if a woman walk past this door right now with her butt hanging out, half the men in the room gonna be looking, running to the door. And what Christ say about that? <laughs> about that. Read it. What Christ say about that? <laughs> it's that right eye of no, nah, read it from the top. Okay. That line. No. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman, so whoever looketh on a woman, read. To lust after her. To lust after her. If you're looking at that big booty woman, what you doing? Why you looking? You looking? You look? Are you looking? Saying, "Oh, that's nice." No, that's not the thought. The thought, the thought in your mind, it ain't even about you being single. You're not supposed to be looking. Because adultery, adultery. The thing about the commandments. You know what I'm saying the the commandments. When you say, "Thou shalt not commit adultery." What falls? What what else falls under adultery? Fornication, uh, bestiality, homosexuality. All of those things fall under adultery. So when you when we say the Ten Commandments, the Ten Commandments was an umbrella for all of the laws, because all of the laws point back. All of the every every law that we were given, it pointed back to the Ten Commandments. It tied to it some way. But and these are the words that Christ. So when we say core, going back to the point that you brought out, the core beliefs, our core beliefs have to be according to the Bible for us to actually succeed in the things that we're doing. All right. And, and then part, part of it that I, you know, it's a for all have seen the fall short. Uh huh. And, and core belief systems will help you out on that. So as far as with, just as far as with the thought. But yeah, at, the, at the same time, Proverbs people have to be realistic. Uh -huh. and, and be realistic and being realistic is how you also build core beliefs or how you observe them. When you say realistic, and, and being elaborate. realistic that you are still a human. Uh -huh. So other than that, you can look at yourself and start condemning yourself instead of building solid core beliefs. Because it ain't not, it's not that you look at something and you like it. But when you start to design it in a certain type of way, man, she's gorgeous. Man, and she's sexy. But I have no intent on to having sex with her. But I can say, man, she is one sexy lady there. She's good. She's gorgeous to look upon. 
What is but, sexy? Uh, a, a sexy can be a, a look. Uh, a, a sex appeal can be a, a a way of how a person dress. But and what, does, what can, does the word sex mean? Well, go ahead. Look it up. Get that definition. I have my own perspective. Get definition. But Get the I definition of sex. On the, on the website. No, I'm just saying. So what, what I'm saying is that I'm going to be realistic well, for myself. That I'm going to be online. I ain't finna, I ain't finna tell draws off of her. But she looked cute. She looked cute. So now this is this is the thing. But, but at the same time, I'm a man of character. I'm gonna respect my wife. I'm a, I ain't finna disrespect this woman. If you if you have a wife, why would you be looking at another woman? Hmm? If you have a wife, why would you look at another woman? Guess what? I'm not blind. It's one thing. No. I'm not blind, no. So this. So, look. so, what, what so I don't saying, want. Wait, so, real quick. Hey, hold your thought. Are you saying that? Wait, hold your thought. Now hold your thought. Now hold your thought. I wanted. I want to point this out. I'm not saying. Okay. Let's say we all face this way, right? right. And a woman walked past. And Ain't none of us can control seeing her. All but right. the problem would come in if you do this. Right, exactly. You ain't doing nothing. That's that. the problem. No, you ain't. Or you anything. look, you look, you should look away if you got a wife. Yeah, you ain't, you got if you don't got a yourself. wife, you ain't married, you should look you away. Control yourself. And you can see a gorgeous woman and say, man, she looks gorgeous. You don't gotta act like a dog and a cat. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying yeah, yeah. But what, what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm not saying that. Because if you see a if you see a woman that she's a beautiful get, woman, you, get you can acknowledge yourself, that. But when you get to the point the, the, what Sticking to what the scriptures say. A beautiful woman is not a sin to say she's beautiful. Okay. That's not, not what we're saying. Even to me, to but, me, what, myself. What? But I can be Wait a minute. I can be corrected. Now, look, it's look. not even sin to me. Say, man, let's read the her. scripture. That's again. a sexy, that's a sexy young lady. Well, let, let's read the but scripture in Matthew. But look, but look, let's let's read the scripture again okay. and let's keep it to oh, what the scripture said. That's that's the date. Because what you're saying is different. Right. If you just if you happen to see a woman and she's beautiful, okay, that's a beautiful young lady. But it, it's a it becomes sin when it turns into the the thoughts, the extra thoughts. Yeah, the extra thoughts. So read it again. Read that. The book of Saint Matthew, chapter five, verse twenty-eight. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!